DMK MP Kanimori on Sunday tweeted that she was asked by a CISF personnel whether she was an Indian when she asked the officer to speak in English or Tamil as she did not understand Hindi. She tagged the post Hindi imposition and soon there was a social media outburst. The CISF immediately took note of the MP's complaint and ordered an inquiry into the matter. In a tweet, the CISF said it is not their policy to insist upon any particular language. No, I was shocked. This happened in Chennai airport and uh, we were going through the security and she was giving me instructions I could not understand. So I asked her to, uh, you know, speak to me in English or in Tamil. And uh, her response was, if you're Indian, like, uh, how can you not speak Hindi? Uh, so I said, you, you cannot uh, decide who I am and I'm going to complain. And it didn't bother her uh, even after uh, she knew that I was an MP or... I mean, that is immaterial, but then you should not ask anybody, you know, uh, just because you don't belong to one, uh, uh, you know, religion or uh, don't speak a particular language or, you know, have don't, don't have one kind of identity, doesn't make you less of an Indian. And I think the greatness of this country is the acceptance of its diversity and the inclusiveness. You know, somewhere we're losing that. And that is actually what is going to, uh, you know, divide this country. Uh, it is not, uh, you know, the identities which people like to keep. It is trying to make uh, this entire country into one thing, one homogeneous thing where nobody has an identity and it doesn't have its different shades and colors. That's very sad. But then, of course, when I landed here, the officers met me and uh, they apologized uh, about what happened and they've al already uh, promised to uh, you know, um, start an inquiry and take action. Congress leader P. Chidambaram took up the cudgels against Hindi imposition saying that the unpleasant experience of the DMK MP is not unusual. The Central Industrial Security Forces is under the Union Home Ministry. The BJP, which leads the central government, is perceived to be a Hindi belt party which is seeking to make inroads in Tamil Nadu, where elections are set for the early half of 2021. The BJP termed Kanimori's remarks as the start of the DMK assembly campaign. Tamil Nadu was the hotbed of anti-Hindi imposition protests post-independence. The DMK was in fact the party that spearheaded the anti-Hindi agitations in the 60s, which brought it to power in 1967. It also objected to the three-language policy in the National Education Policy 2020. The ruling AIA-DMK government in Tamil Nadu, which is supported by the centre, had also backed the two-language policy that already exists.